Would you like to just introduce yourself and what you're currently doing at Revitar? Yeah, my name is Joseph Hai, uh, H-I-G-H-E. Uh, currently at Revitur, I work on the pre-training department. So uh, we help candidates um, who maybe they don't have uh, like specifically like a computer science background um, or candidates who um, maybe don't have as much experience with programming in general. Uh, we help them to get into Revitur's like uh, paid training program um, and just provide them with that foundational training. Uh, specifically, I do data analytics and some project management on the team. Perfect. Um, right. Can you confirm what software language you trained in? Yeah, so uh, during my time in Revitur's paid training program, I worked uh, in a Java full stack um, uh, uh, Java full stack. Uh, we learned uh, test automation and we also learned uh, DevOps with AWS. Great. What was the best part of your training experience for you? Yeah, I think the best part of my training experience was just learning so many new things. Um, as a person, I, I really like to learn. Um, and uh, programming was something that I actually was only like self-taught in kind of prior to Revature. So uh, learning, you know, proper coding conventions, uh, load, uh, learning about all of these different like tools and technologies. Um, and also like, it was really interesting to realize how quickly I could like pick up some stuff. You know, the first couple of weeks was uh, just a little bit rough, um, but you know, once I was able to get into the groove, um, yeah, the experience was great. I, I just, I love learning so much. Great. Tell me about your relationship with your trainer. Yeah, um, our trainer, he was actually really cool. He was about my age. Um, and, um, you know, we, I guess we didn't become like really, really close friends. So I do still uh, keep in contact with him. Um, yeah, it, it was uh, it was really awesome to have someone who uh, kind of had like, uh, he also told me about how uh, he like, he went through a virtual training program. He also really, really liked to learn. Um, mm -hmm. So like having kind of like that, uh, like mirror, someone who was basically going through very uh, kind of similar process as me. Um, yeah, it was, it was really um, awesome to have someone who was like a mentor um, and was able to just like kind of guide me through everything. Perfect. And how would you describe your relationship with your batchmates? Uh, really great, actually. So um, at, when I went through Revitur's training program, uh, we were all like on site. And um, I guess our batch was kind of unique in that we were all a little bit more like outgoing. Um, so like, you know, we would hang out a lot. Um, they're some of my closest friends, some of my batchmates. Like I uh, like regularly will still hang out with them. Um, we have like a Dungeons and Dragons game that we play like once a month-ish. But um, yeah, we uh, we have like a really close friendship. Um, like we work really well together and um, yeah, they're, they're all uh, really great guys and girls that I, I work with. So how would you describe the training program in three words? Three words. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, difficult but rewarding. I think that would be. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and what did you learn during your training experience that you could share with other people? Um, yeah, uh, that I would share with others. Um, so I think the like number one thing about my experience um, if I were to give like advice to someone who's going through it would be um, don't be afraid to reach out for help like early and often. Um, that was actually something that I wish I had done a little bit more, especially like at the beginning, right? Like I mentioned, mm -hmm. you know, the beginning, a little bit rough. Um, I'm definitely someone who uh, I really like to um, learn things like on my own. I'm pretty independent. Um, but, you know, there are so many people who are going through the exact same thing, right? Batchmates, my trainer. Um, you know, I wish I had just reached out for help like right away as opposed to being like, oh no, I'll just make a note and I'll look into it later. Like, you know, I, I remember there was like a night where I stayed up almost all night trying to like look something up and like doing some like independent research. And then like in an hour conversation with one of my batchmates the next day, I was like, oh, that makes so much more sense. Like, why didn't I just reach out to begin a couple with? of hours. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, um, I think, you know, don't be afraid to, like, reach out for help. Perfect. And is that in terms of, like, team collaboration, just making sure that, yeah, you're working with your team and asking them for perfect great yeah exactly yeah so i mean we had uh group projects that we were working on that in 
uh, that instance, that was a group project that we were, we were working on, um, mm -hmm. you know, and I didn't want to like let my team down. So I was like, oh, no, I, I need to be able to do this like on my own. Um, but you know, that's not the case, right? You're working together. Um, so yeah. yeah, just reaching out for that help, um, like really early so that you're not like bogging down the rest of the team or anything. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I would recommend. Great advice, great advice. What did you learn during your training experience that was unexpected? Uh, that was unexpected. Mm. Um, I, I think the most unexpected thing was just how much we learned in such a little time. And again, like, um, if someone had told me, like, right from the get-go, right, like, you know, looking at the curriculum, like, from day one, you know, I was thinking to myself, like, this is impossible. There's so much, <laughs> right? Like, how am I supposed yeah. to learn all of this? Um, but it's really surprising, like, once you um like you know the having the trainer there is awesome to like guide you but like once you actually get into that groove once you get into that mindset of like you know picking up those new technologies uh you're mm -hmm. kind of like constantly like reviewing you're constantly like coding on your own and with like others there um especially like coding with others right like just coding with someone right next to you uh, who's going through the same things um it was uh, i guess unexpected to see how much i was able to grow in like such a short amount of time um, I just remember like, you know, trying to learn programming on my own. It took me like months and months and months to learn like some of the basics. And then, you know, I'm basically learning everything that I would have in like a week. Um, and not only that, but it's like, it makes sense. Um, it's not just like information being dumped on me. It's like, oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, this is why we do, um, you know, we write code this way as opposed to some other way. That's really, really clear. Thank you for that. What advice would you give someone um, considering the Revitures training program? Yeah, um, I guess um, the number one advice that I would give someone uh, would be, um, you know, don't be afraid to fail, right? Um, it's uh, like one thing that I try to hold dear is um, making mistakes doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It just means that you're learning the correct way to do it. Um, I think it's a quote from like Benjamin Franklin or it's like one of those like anecdotes, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. It may or may not be true, but it's like, um, you know, Benjamin Franklin, he like failed an experiment 200 times. And when he was asked, like, what does it feel like to, you know, have made 200 mistakes? Um, his response was, uh, I didn't make 200 mistakes. I learned 200 ways that it doesn't work. I'm narrowing like the possibilities, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I... Uh, I learned through like all of the mistakes that I made, um, you know, I would see errors in my code all the time. And, you know, at first I hated it. But now I realize like, oh, th this is just a learning opportunity. Can you just give us kind of like a memorable um, experience that you had whilst whilst on the training program? Like it could be something funny, mm -hmm. fun, whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is. I guess this is kind of a weirder one. Um, I, I remember um, the first group project that I had with, you know, some of my batchmates, some of my closest friends. Um, we were uh, creating this web application with a front end and a back end. Um, and we were just kind of having fun with it, right? Um, it wasn't like this, like, super duper serious, like, it has to, you know, fit all of this criteria. It has to be very, like, boring and, you know, very enterprise businessy. Um, I think... I think we called it Revature Platinum, and we had, like, the David Guetta song Platinum, like, playing on the website. Uh, everyone got a, like, good laugh out of it. Um, but, like, I mean, um, you know, it's, like, a weird story, but, like, we were learning also about, like, okay, how do we integrate, like, other media and, like, sound and audio files, like, into, like, so we were, like, doing this extra research that we didn't need to just mm -hmm. because we were, like, oh, this is, like, a fun, like, joke. Um, our trainer... Uh, I don't, he didn't admit that he liked it, but he did laugh. He was smiling during our presentation. So I think he liked it too. Um, but yeah, like, um, you know, we just, uh, we were able to have fun with like what we were learning and applying to. Perfect. Thank you for that. Like how, <laughs> how did you kind of manage, you know, your time and just dealing with the pressures of, you know, going through such an intense program? Like if someone, you know, what would be your advice to someone in terms of how to manage that and juggle that? Because I think that can be difficult for some people and other people kind of can do it very, very well. One of the things that uh, we did like as a group was um, uh, like me and uh, a lot of our friends, right? We, would just meet up for um it wasn't like super long right like we didn't have these like really long like 
questions. Um, but what we would just do is for maybe 30 minutes to maybe an hour, like after our training for that day ended, um, we would just like take turns and just ask each other like questions like um, like every single week, there's this, you know, uh, QC process where you're basically asked questions about concepts for the previous week. And we kind of held our own like mini QCs like after training every day. So, you know, I would be like in the hot seat, you know, we ask me some questions and then we'd switch to like the next person. Um, and uh, one of the things that we did with that was like if you were asking the questions, you should also be able to answer them just in case, you know, the person you're asking got it wrong, like you should be able to answer. So we kind of just use that as like, you know, one, you know, we would all be more like confident and comfortable like in those like QCs every week because that can be nerve wracking. But honestly, like um, just having that practice, having like that support from uh, my friends and my batchmates was great. Um, and yeah, like uh, you know, the fact that we were like uh, helping push one another there too, um, when we were like supporting each other in that review um, was really great. That sounds really good. I feel like I want to be part of the training program now. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that's everything. Um, thank you so much for your time today.